what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to look at how we use some of our modeling tools and some of our modeling skills to build the sort of fairly simplistic model of the snake that we've got here. So as you can see, he's got a fairly longish body, he's got a head, uh, we've got the mouth that's open, a few gums in there and his eyes as well. Uh, we'll worry about the materials a little bit later on that are on him. So that's where we're going. Let's get there, shall we? I'll start off by resetting my scene. There we go. And I'm going to start with a fairly simple box. And I'll maximize my viewport. And I'll make sure that I can see the edges on that. And that I think everything I need. I'm probably going to need about, probably about that much. So three length and height segments and two width segments. You can always make yours different, don't forget. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to instantly convert this to an editable polygon. And that means that I'll be able to take these two polygons at the back here. And if I scale them out, and if I then move them as well, you can see we're starting to get sort of the basic shape of the back of the head there. If I then take these three at the front and pull them out, and maybe even just scale them in very very slightly that's going to be the point where the mouth will be so we're doing well with that and I can then also take these vertices here and we can scale them in so we start to sort of round the shape off a little bit more maybe start to take these ones at the back as well and here and here and start to pull those in slightly which will then of course mean that these bottom ones will need to come in a little bit as well all we're really doing is just creating like a basic rounded shape if I then take these two points here I can pull them up and just to even that out press G there to get rid of the grid I'll take these two points here at the bottom and I'll pull those down What I'm now going to do is zoom right the way out. And once I zoom right the way out, I'm going to go to Create Shapes. And you might wonder what we're doing here. I'll say Line. I'll set my initial type and my drag type to Smooth. And what I'm going to do here is just come out and just give a little bit of a snaky sort of curl. That's quite a long one. So I expect we should have some fun with this. And I'll take the head of the body there. Just try and move this so that it matches up a little bit. I know you can have this without it matching up, but I quite like it to match up. And I'll then move that up a little way as well. And I'll go back to my head here. And maybe I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. Uh, both this way and that way little bit just there there we go let's play around with that slightly and then I'm going to go to select faces and I'll select the back two faces here and the options that I've got here I've got one here extrude along a spline so I'm just going to click on the settings and first thing we've got to do is pick a spline which is this option here so I shall pick my spline and as you can see, that doesn't look very good. And that's because the segments we've got, there's only six of them. If I left click and drag, you'll start to see more and more segments appear. So I'll bring that down to a sensible number. I think possibly 60 is more than enough. There we go. Let's just make that 60. There we go. And with this, I've also got an option. You can see here we can taper. So I can taper this down to be a very, very thin tail. And this is where you've got to be very, very careful and why it's always very good to be able to just use these settings. So I'm clicking here on these arrows one at a time until I get sort of the setting that I'm looking for. I think that's good. I can also taper the curve as well. So we can do all sorts of wonderful, strange things. So I'll just put a very, very slight taper on that as well. And that's going to give me a really nice look and feel there. So I'll click OK. 
and there you go that's our tail so that's pretty much actually most of the modeling work done now I want to see this smoothed off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a modifier over the top of all of this that's called a turbo smooth this isn't uh, the only way of working but it's a good way of working and it also means that I've not actually put the smoothing in the in the um, in the editable polygon here if I now come back to my editable polygon it can sometimes not show you the result of that so what I'm going to do is in order to be able to see the result of that poly that turbo smooth rather I'm going to click on the show hide end result toggle there there we go and I'm going to select everything in the face or in the, what I think is going to be the mouth here and what I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to inset it very very slightly there we go and then I'm going to start my extrusion by extruding back and maybe I'll just pull that out a little bit you can see here I'm making a few adjustments as I go along maybe I'll extrude back a second time click OK with that and I can if I want to grab hold of some of these vertices and start to kind of reshape the mouth so I can make this sort of a little bit of a lip cur curling snarl maybe my turbo smooth needs to have more iterations on it there we go and I can really sort of make him look maybe more aggressive and more angry than I would have normally done but you know hey maybe he's having a bad day I'm not but maybe he is there we go kind of maybe chewing on a big fat cigar as well now one of the advantages I've got here as well is you can see with the turbo smooth is I've got that control cage that you can see around the object and that's all in orange and that allows me to make these changes that I'm making by selecting vertices and just pulling them out so I'm not really changing um, the smooth surface I'm changing the underlying structure of that surface that's really quite good and that means as well I can do things like I can grab hold of all the vertices here and just rotate them round so that they match the tail a little bit more there we go and I can even grab all of those vertices again and go for scale and just try scaling them out a little bit just to give him a little bit more of a sort of a tapered head maybe take all these vertices at the mouth and maybe just pull those in slightly there we go so hopefully by now you're getting a really nice sort of feel for how I'm doing things and how I'm working here now if I wanted him to be evil as he is maybe we'd leave him as he is what I'm actually going to do now though is I'm going to go back and I'm going to create a uh, sphere sorry my mistake there you go there's my sphere and I'm going to rotate that by 90 degrees I'm going to pop that up on top of his head there and I'm going to shift and click and drag a copy of that forwards and I'm going to change the radius in that and make it 50 so it's smaller and then this eyeball here at the back I'm going to slice on now I'm never quite sure which way it's going to slice on for me so what I'll do is I'll just do that Ooh, there we go I've gone too far slice on there and maybe that should really be no more than 180 otherwise I'll cause myself problems and maybe that can come around there there we go that's probably better so now I've got that eye in place I will rotate it round five degrees there maybe five degrees the other way um, let's just have a look here yeah I think that's right so we'll move that over here and we'll just take the eyeball and I'll drag that into place just here so it's inside there we go and then I'll take both of those outside and inside and I'll shift and drag across to make a copy and maybe I'll just reposition that one maybe just rotate it a little bit maybe take these two I think I need to change that selection mode there we go take these two and just there we go rotate that one round a little way there and there we have it I'm just going to grab both of those and I'll apply my standard gray material to them 
to make everything a black outline. And there we have it. Pretty much the basic shape of our snake. Very simple, very quick, very easy to do. And we've just used all of the tools that we spoke about in the sections where we were talking about, you know, selecting and manipulating various vertices and various um, points, moving things around. What we're doing here is we're starting to bring it all together.